A coalition of APC support groups has described as an embarrassment to the nation. The protests by some ambassadors recalled by the president on the 2nd of September. The envoys are meant to have returned to the country by the 31st of October this year. Moya Thomas has more. This is certainly not the first time in Nigerian presidents will recall ambassadors on foreign mission, but this seems to be the first time there's a resistance to the president's directive by ambassadors. But a coalition of APC support groups have come out to outrightly condemn what some of them describe as a show of shame by the protesting ambassadors. The orchestrated media was end to protect the integrity of Mr. President and sovereignty of Nigeria. Government that has the power to hire you can also have the power to say it is enough. Those envoys that have been asked to come back home she just take it as a part of the administrative conduct to serve Nigeria. The reasons given by some of the affected ambassadors also suggest that some laid down procedures were not followed in the recall of ambassadors. I had a chat with a retired ambassador who had served Nigeria in several countries around the world. The appointment, deployment and recall of uh, our principal envoys is vested in the person of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. However, this authority, this prerogative is exercised through the good offices of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I asked him what happens when an ambassador rejects a recall. That is unheard of. It's, uh, it doesn't happen. But in case where it happens, the normal rules and regulations, public rules and regulations should apply. Finance is another major issue that could delay or stall a recall process. TVC obtained exclusive information from a staff of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, whose identity we will not reveal, that these funds to facilitate a recall process have been approved and provided to the ambassadors since the first week of October. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.